I saw the sailing boat come up for free uh, marketplace and um, I couldn't help myself <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little fiberglass phase 2 racing boat a few years old but it still seems in okay condition one problem with it, it's got a broken mast um, the previous owner was sailing near a beach and a, a big wave came up and uh, tipped it upside down and just snapped the mast he was going to take it to the dump so I grabbed it off him because it was hammered on the beach so badly it does have some crazing in the gel coat uh, you can see these little fine cracks here uh, pretty much all over it but I can't see any real breaks in the fiberglass so I think it'll be okay it's got a mainsail and a jib with it um, all the rigging and everything all centerboard there and the rudder it all looks in pretty good condition really apart from that, that broken mast and there's the boom that looks alright but it's got the full flotation like these are all airtight compartments so in theory it shouldn't it shouldn't be able to sink uh, that's what they said about the Titanic didn't they there's the rest of the mast it does have a little bit of a bend in it so I'll have to try and straighten that back uh, I don't really want to have to buy a new mast for it because I'm probably looking at quite a few hundred dollars So I'll clean all that corrosion out and um, get it back to aluminium and then uh, glue a sleeve in there. Uh, but first of all I'll try and bend that back into shape. That took the bend out of it. I'll just add a piece in the bottom. It's probably the easiest way. So I've got this old windsurfer mast, um, it's slightly flexible and very strong so I'll just cut that and um, use that as a sleeve, I think it should be plenty strong enough. Stainless steel wire brush here, get all that corrosion off. Because this carbon fibre tube is not as strong as the alloy, it's, uh, it's a lighter weight um, mast. I'm going to double it up, so I'll put one inside the other, and I'll glue it all together with epoxy mixed with glue powder. And um, once that one's in, I'll slide this 
other half of the mast over top and it'll be all glued together then. Just try and join the edges of this um, sail guide and get any epoxy out of there because then otherwise it will um, create a bump for the sail to go over so I'll try and get that out. And we'll build up those edges a little bit because there was a bit of a crack in a couple of those edges. I'll just strengthen it up with epoxy. I think that'll do me. That's almost perfectly straight. There is a slight bend in there, but I'm not too worried about that. I might just hang a wee bit of weight on this end just to pull it down slightly, and that'll set straight. That's set nicely. The sail guide is all lined up pretty well. Feels pretty solid. I think that'll be okay. Because this section broke out from the middle, I'm going to add a section at the bottom, um, which is just a piece of aluminium pipe I've cut. Because it is actually a bit thinner than the mast, I'm going to put a sleeve inside it and a piece over the outside as well, so it'll be two layers um, and with this section at the bottom. This one's going on the inside, so I just need to sand the outside of that. Try and get all the dust off it so that the epoxy sticks well. Peel off the excess glue. So I'll just wrap that up with tape just to compress it and um, that'll get any air bubbles out as well. This tape will probably end up staying on I think, which uh, doesn't really matter. That should do it. So that'll just hold everything together until it sets. 
I know there will be those who don't like the idea of fiberglassing over aluminium and I, I thought the same as well until I broke my scrub cutter handle and I tried welding it and it broke again, I tried sleeving it and it broke again. In the end I just put a sleeve in it and try fiberglass. It's been holding up for about three or four years um, with really hard use so I know it does work. Uh, it's just it's definitely not not the usual thing to do but it does work. Obviously the scrub cutter isn't in salt water so there might there might be um, some problems with corrosion between the aluminium and the fiberglass but because it's so well sealed I don't think there'll be a problem there. Um, time will tell. Uh, nothing to lose really apart from uh, a day's work and a wee bit of resin. It's, it's no big deal if it doesn't work I'll just probably end up buying another one if, uh, if it breaks again. But anyway we'll let that set overnight and see how it looks in the morning. Alright that's set nicely. Because I took a section out from the middle I'm going to drop the boom hinge down to there. I don't really like having so many rivets in the same line, so we'll have it slightly above that hook. So I've got to drill new holes for these stays as well. That's definitely a weak spot there. I think that might just be corrosion and salt. Wow. That almost needs a patch over it as well. It's been a while since I've rigged a yacht. I remember how it goes together.
so much fun that mast holding up very well it was leaking in a wee bit around um, this drain here so we might have to take that off and clean clean the sand out of it or something because you, you can sort of hear it. it's a bit gritty in there you can see it's leaking out a wee bit even when it's shut um, once you get going you just open it up and it sucks the water out but um, if you're going slow it just tends to let the water in so we'll have to do a few things on it to get it right the boom van hook here i'll have to bring down to there and then then i can hook up that boom van and, and adjust the boom a wee bit better the stays are a wee bit loose so i need to tighten those up a bit but that's holding up really well it's been a while since i've sailed a dinghy i'm used to biggie yachts but um they are so much fun but a wee bit less forgiving than the bigger ones though because um they're so light and tippy but they keep you on your toes there's no leaks in there so that's a good sign anyway that was definitely worth uh, saving uh, i think it would have probably gone to the dump if i hadn't taken it thanks for coming along see you next time